Victory, victory, victory wave! Vira, vira, vira wave! Victory, victory, victory wave! Vira, vira, vira wave! government in Delhi believe that they can suppress the emotions of the Tamil people. Congress who had completely killed the culture of, uh, and tradition of Tamil Nadu, Jallikattu was banned by the Congress. They are the ones who said that uh, Jallikattu shouldn't be happening. Hello everyone, you're watching News Epicenter with me, Maria Shakil. There is a literal bullfight in Battleground Tamil Nadu ahead of the state elections. The political stage is set by the Pongal Festival. BJP President JP Nadda is in Chennai and for the first time, Pongal has been celebrated at the BJP office as part of a mega outreach by the Saffron Party. The Congress, which is in alliance with the DMK, was not far behind with Rahul Gandhi attending a Jalikat event in Madurai, where he attacked the Modi government, accusing it of trying to suppress Tamil culture. But the BJP was quick to point out that it was the Congress which banned Jalikat, calling it barbaric, and was shifting tracks purely for politics. But the big players are the Dravidian parties, the AIA, DMK and DMK, who have pitched Pongal as a symbol of Tamil culture for many years. At the beginning of the year, the AIA, DMK announced a big Pongal bonanza with 2,500 rupees in cash and free rice and sugar to over 2 crore ration card holders. The DMK is in a bind to counter these freebies from the ruling party, but has promised farm, gold and student loan waivers if elected to power. The momentum is with MK Stalin, who has secured his position as his father, Karnanidhi's successor, sweeping the Lok Sabha polls in 2019 in the state and emerging as the big winner of the local body polls earlier this month. So where? Do the political dynamics in the state stand as of today in the post Jayalalitha and Karnanidhi era? What will be the impact of the political pilgrimage of the national parties? What is the pulse of the water? And with the explosion of politics around Pongal, how critical is the culture on the road to power? Joining me on the show, Manu Sundaram. He is the DMK spokesperson. Narayan Tirupati is the spokesperson of the BJP. Kuvai Satyan is AIA DMK spokesperson. Sumansi Raman is a political analyst. I'm going to begin with you, Sumansi Raman. What do you read of the political pilgrimage that is happening in Tamil Nadu? Leaders across the political spectrum are making a beeline. Yeah, uh, obviously the fact that Tamil Nadu remains the virtually the last uh, uh, citadel for the BJP to conquer, besides Bengal, where they're doing much better. Uh, that has uh, necessitated frequent visits by the BJP's uh, top leadership. Mr. Amit Shah was here a few weeks ago. Now Mr. Nadda is here. So I think that there's a lot of attention being paid. But Maria, the, the worry about this entire election campaign is it is almost entirely focused on emotive issues. So you hmm. saw Rahul Gandhi attending Jali Kattu. You have the discussion of, uh, you know, the BJP's uh, attempt to paint uh, the DMK as an anti-Hindu party. The, um, you know, DMK's attempt to paint the BJP as a communal force. So we are not discussing governance issues by and large. And obviously there are going to be a huge uh, number of freebies which are put out already. The DMK has announced waiver of all agricultural loans. Um, Tamil Nadu, by the way, has uh, more than one lakh, um, uh, you know, crore of uh, agricultural loans. So I don't know, uh, you know, how uh, it's going to be feasible even to write off uh, that kind of money. But anyway, whatever, we are having a lot of uh, these freebies uh, starting to be announced. Yes, we've but seen my that. Concern, yeah, yes. yeah, but my concern is the, uh, the, the fact that who is a Tamilian and, you know, uh, who should be uh, in power, is Murugan a Tamil god or not? I mean, it's, it's very unfortunate uh, that, that the entire campaign on both sides uh, is, is largely on connect. those lines. Yes, Manu Sundaram, come in on this. Can Rahul Gandhi really connect with the cultural consciousness of the state and distance himself from the UPA legacy? The Environment Ministry under Jairam Ramesh, let's not forget, had issued a notification banning the use of bulls as a performing animal 
and Jairam Ramesh had gone on record to say that Jalikatu was a barbaric sport. Well, uh, to answer your first question, yes, there is no, no reason why someone who has made himself available and present on a day uh, of, of great cultural significance like today is to the peop uh, people of Tamil Nadu, someone who has made an effort to come and attend a significant cultural event uh, in probably the most important Tamil festival of the year, someone who has made an effort to be, you know, as they say, Maria, in politics, you have to be in it to win it. Hmm. So a person who's there today, uh, not only just watching but and... But Sundaram, let's not forget that why is Rahul Gandhi chosen uh, Tamil Nadu as his first entry point in terms of optics in 2021? He could have gone to speak. Bengal. He could go, have gone to Kerala. These are also the states going to polls. And so is Assam, where, he, where his party is a player. The reason why he has chosen because he understands that he is probably on the winning side. Well, I cannot speak. He is for the, riding for the, on the DMK's popularity. Congress, but from my perspective, Maria, where I sit and the party I represent, it's a significant. Um, it, it is a significant event that the former president of the National Indian National Congress was present today. The, it, it shows, in fact, the leaders who are not present today. And in fact, I think it is a recognition of the fact that... Why Jalil wasn't Kattu, MK Stalin with him? Issue. It is an issue that mobilized close to 20 lakh protesters... Why wasn't MK Stalin with January him? January 2017. A quick and, response also from uh, you. Uh, uh, you know, the Pongal festivities, it's interesting that what we are seeing here... Uh, Narayan Tirupati, that the Pongal festivities have also seen the arrival of BJP national president and also RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat in Tamil Nadu. So what are you trying to send a message? This is about arrival of all politicians in Tamil Nadu. See, uh, RSS chief coming to Tamil Nadu is not a surprise because every year in the last say 95 years, hmm. almost uh, whenever it started in uh, Chennai or Tamil Nadu, hmm. we have been, uh, we have been uh, doing this festival, we have been enjoying this festival uh, every year. So absolutely, uh, maybe media is not aware of that. Hmm. But as far as the, uh, Mr. Nanda is concerned, yes, we are celebrating this uh, Pongal festival every year in each and every hamlet uh, what we have, our organization has. But this time, the uh, number of people uh, joined in BJP for the last two, three years or more, and media uh, is there. So we all know what is happening. So definitely it is politics. We will definitely try to uh, get into Tamil Nadu and uh, uh, we want to defeat DMK, which is anti-Tamil. We want to defeat so Congress. So your alliance with AIA DMK is strong? What no, no, 100% is the... yes. 100 all the differences yes. sorted out? We never had any differences. Well, AIA DMK said it clearly <laughs> that they are not going to offer you more seats, <laughs> that you will not be no. the dictating partner in this alliance. No. Uh, totally come in no. on this. All yes. these were, all these were... Uh, Kuwai uh, Satyan, hype. come in on this. You know, you may just say it, but we heard the press conference as well. The ruling AIA DMK has announced 2,500 crore sugarcane, one shirt and sari along with other essentials that is used to make pongal, a de you know, delicacy that is used. I'm trying to understand with the presence of Rahul Gandhi and the presence of other BJP leaders, what value addition is the BJP doing because you are an alliance party uh, partner of the BJP in the state? What is the value addition of the BJP there? We are an alliance. We are an alliance and the alliance is growing strong day by day. And with a plethora of schemes, what ADMK has given it has won the hearts of Tamil people, including this Pongal, 2,500 rupees, uh, sugar cane and cereals and condiments to each and every household who are struggling economically from the COVID pandemic. And to just to sway the minds of the people of Tamil Nadu, they have brought in one person called Mr. Rahul Gandhi. And it is, it is, it is really fortunate for the people of Tamil Nadu to showcase how a bull looks like to Mr. Rahul Gandhi and what Jalikatu is all about. And then he is in a position to tell the people of Tamil Nadu and he wants the people of Tamil Nadu to believe that the ban of Jalikatu because of Congress regime is, 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 is has to be forgotten. And we are looking and marching forward and marching ahead. And any layman in Tamil Nadu, or even a kid will tell in Tamil Nadu, hmm. if Jalikatu ban was there, it is because of Congress and DMK. Hmm. And today Manu he Sundaram, talks you know, about Tamil culture is nothing but a mockery. And because DMK now, their entire strategy, political strategy, is based on the borrowed brains of a political strategist called Prashant Kishore. 
and which, based on his uh, verdict, they want to pass on the buck to Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Okay. These ally ran out of gas long back because they don't have anything solid to go to the people and talk about. Okay, Manu Sundaram, a quick response from you and then I'll give the final words to Suman Sidaman. Well, politics is about perception. Um, you have to be, like I said, you have to be in it to win it. Jallikat is very important culturally to the people of Tamil Nadu, but so is governance. And this goes back to the point made by Mr. Sumat Raman earlier. It's equally important, and we have been showing the people of Tamil Nadu the failed governance model of the ADMK over the last four years. We're showing what them the bad administration. Showing? No, no, I'm saying this is, a, this is part of the cultural symbolism, but it's <laughs> equally important that we have been focused on. We have given a 93-page charge sheet of corruption allegations against seven ministers to the governor of Tamil Nadu. Hmm. So it is equally important that we do both together. But of course, like I said, the, it seems like others, the, the, the other parties, the ADMK, the BJP, they are more worried and concerned about uh, the, the former president of the International Congress than anybody else. I wonder why. But nevertheless, the DMK is focused on making sure that our governance models will be the right uh, policy metric which will take the, the state of Tamil Nadu okay, forward, especially response? a state which has nah, failed to address I, I Corona Mr. properly. Manu. Yes. Yes. Mr. Manu, let me give no, you no, a small yeah. reminder. After you are yeah. X number of pages of corruption charges, our minister came out in open and challenged your leader, M.K. Stalin. He is willing to accept the challenge of corruption. If proved, he will quit the ministry. He is willing to quit. If, we, if it is not, if it is proven, I, 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 I'm, I'm surprised that corruption is now debated it and not, you know, uh, not let evidence in a court of law. I think you should go face a court of law, and you should, you should allow the governor to. Final words to Suman Raman now. Suman Raman, you know the point here is uh, the Congress member was accused of being the weak link in the Mahagat Bandhan as far as the elections in Bihar is concerned. Even in 2016, Stalin was accused of being over generous with the Congress. Congress party uh, giving them 41 seats. The Congress member had won eight. Now the question is, in these two alliances, which are very clear, the DMK Congress, AIA DMK BJP, which is which is the national party, which is a weakling or piggy riding on the other? Okay, actually, to be honest, both parties, both national parties, are riding piggyback on the regional uh, parties. Uh, the BJP, to a larger extent, is dragging the AIA DMK down to some extent. Uh, but uh, as far as the Congress is concerned, it is also not adding a great deal of value to the DMK. So they are seeking, at this time, uh, what I hear is the Congress will not get more than 25 seats uh, from the DMK to, uh, to contest this poll. So it's way down from the 41 that they received last time. But I want to point out this campaign is also being run on the on the amnesia of the voters. In, uh, the voters forget a lot of things. For mm, instance, Mr. Right. Manu Sukaram's party was part of the UPA in power in Delhi when Jairam Ramesh uh, uh, issued the order to ban uh, uh, the, to add the bulls there and, and ban Jalikatir. Now I don't know. I mean, people can say anything they want. It's been ten years. Uh, memories are short, and the yes. voters generally forget a lot of things. So that that's how it is in Tamil Nadu. So are you saying that Stalin will be driving a hard bargain and restricting the number of seats that they will be giving to the Congress he party? To. He has to. Wherever the Congress will take on the AIA DMK, uh, the Congress will be in trouble. The Congress, wherever it fights, the BJP will definitely have the edge because the BJP is seen as a bit of a, uh, in a negative light still. But uh, wherever the Congress takes on AIA DMK, uh, it's going to be in trouble. And it's clear that the DMK will be driving a hard bargain. I mean, quite frankly, looking at the position on the ground, it makes no sense for the DMK to concede even 25 seats to the Congress, if at all. But anything they concede more than that, they're going to hurt themselves. Hmm. Manu Sundara? M you know, Mari, just quickly, I just want to clarify one thing. Uh, though the, the notification that Dr. Sumant Raman refers to was issued in 2011 under the UPA ministry, hmm. I think it's a well-known fact, and Dr. Sumant Raman will attest to this, that in 2012, oh, yeah. 13, and 14, Jallikattu was held in the state of Tamil Nadu. It was only in 2015, oh, yeah, Mary, after Mary, Supreme yeah. Court verdict in A. Nagaraj versus Union of India, that Jallikattu became an issue. And then you subsequently see. there were issues. Where you Don't forget the protest in 2017. It's all well and good to say this. Now, look, I, I, I cannot answer, you know, what the, what the seat sharing is, but I can assure you that the formula that the DMK Congress used in the 2019 Lok Sabha worked quite no, so well So one thing us. is clear, Suman we Sri Raman, that this that culture card will be the road can to I power in Tamil Nadu. Ten seconds. Can I make a point here? Suman Sri Raman. 
DM, yeah, DMK's today, Mr. Stalin's uh, um, tweet on Pongal, wishing the people, hmm. actually wish the people saying the, this is the first day of the Tamil New Year. Hmm. Now, that is not accepted by all in Tamil Nadu because Tamil Nadu traditionally celebrates in April along with Andhra, Kerala, Karnataka and other states. Yugadi and then 10 days later, we have 15 days later, we have the Tamil New Year's Day and Vishnu. So, this itself is a contentious uh, issue and they have decided that they will go full hog right. on this general thing and the you know try to uh, uh, play on the emotions of the people. Yes, yeah, so well, emotions as has been the calling I card in all elections will be again the card that will be used by politicians there. I would like to thank Manu Sundaram, Kuvai Satyam, Narayan Tirupati and Suman Raman. Thank you so much for joining us. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching.